Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. I just recently did a video about the newest R2-D2 set, and I figured it'd be a good time to go over the oldest R2-D2 set. So right here we have set number 8009, R2-D2, obviously. This came out in 2002, it has 242 pieces, no minifigures, and it retailed for $20. And now, that is kind of a, a steep price for a Lego set back in the day because I mean if you've seen the Bionicle ones they came out a year previous and they were only seven dollars uh, but this is a lot more pieces I mean back the Bionicles were like 40 this has 200 more and uh, it is Technic and so you know it's a little little on the pricey side I mean back then <laughs> nowadays this be a steal um, <clears throat> uh, currently on BrickLink, you can get this for about 20 bucks, uh, if you're okay with it not being in great condition. Um, it goes up from there. And then if you want it sealed, the lowest listing I saw was $40. And then everything after that jumps up quite a bit for each listing. You know, yeah, a couple from 50, 60s, 70s, and then it goes up to like 112. And then the next one is 200. So, you know... Pick which one you want if you want to get this, but try to try. I always try to uh, advise you find a decent deal, because you know, yeah, they they might have some good value to them, but you know times are tough these days. You don't have to, you know, spend an arm and a leg to get an old Lego set that you always wanted. So you know, shop responsibly, kids. Uh. Those are all the stats for this, and I wanted to show you some of the features next. Um, unfortunately, the rubber bands that came with this set uh, have deteriorated over time because, you know, this came out 22 years ago. So I have, have them sitting right there. Um, those go down to this feature right here. So how he is right now is his just standing there. But he's got this little, little pan not really a panel, but his little... And it's not even a button either. It's just a little push bar right here, which pushes back on the part right there, which would make this snap forward and these go back. And now he's in his uh, sort of zippy mode that he has with his third leg down there. And then the uh, rubber bands would also help it snap back up into place. But unfortunately, it doesn't really hold because it doesn't have those rubber bands. Um, it works decently fine without them, but I might have to replace that at some point. Uh, the head swivels, because it's attached by a post there. Not a lot of action there. And then this panel opens up, and this little lever back here, push down on that, and he gets his little uh, computer doohickey there and then you pull it back in and close it this side doesn't have anything uh, kind of limited on space but you know it's functioning it has all the base features of r2 you know uh, and then i have this old toy here that i compared the last r2 against and i just wanted to show sort of the similarities in design to the actual design you know so he's got the blue ring at the bottom everything else is kind of implied that it's a dome because you know there wasn't much they could do with the technics uh the body shape is not really cylindrical it's more of a rectangle as you can see um i mean they could have put a panel or two down here but they didn't they and once again, they sort of imply it with having these on the sides. Um, they managed to get the little wires and stuff down here on his feet. Uh, not in brown or gold or whatever, but they used these flexible shafts, which is pretty interesting. Uh, they didn't have them in the, the right color, but they had something that worked, so they went with it. Um, the sides, you got the blue on the the arms, but not really anything down here. They easily could have put something there, but these do move. 
So it wouldn't have really worked really well. I mean, right here, this part just slides. So they easily could have put something attached to this leg that also slides there. You know? I don't know. I might just be nitpicking, but they've got working little wheels here, which is just these gears that sit in the things. You got a bunch of them, so he's able to move. And that's honestly uh, kind of it. You got this blue here to match the blue there, but a lot of it is the details basically implied. He looks a lot better from kind of a distance. Um, I think it's adorable. Uh, it's really cute. Uh, pretty sure I got this uh, way back in the day for uh, $4. So sometimes you really luck out. And uh, at the same time, there's, an R, uh, there's the R2 and the C3PO. These are kind of paired together as 8007. I only have this one, and then a little while later, they came out with another wave of these Technic figures, and I got the uh, Super Battle Droid. Uh, I, that's in pieces. I will eventually put that back together. Uh, it's going to be a while, though. Um, I wish I had gotten more of these. If you look at here in the back, you've got... Back to the instructions, you've got C-3PO again, and then they had Stormtroopers, Darth Vader, and then these are the original Ultimate Collector Series sets. The Tanta IV, well, rubber blockade runner, really. Darth Maul bust, which is kind of weird looking, but hey, it's a UCS set. And then the old brick belt Yoda, who is a little less uh, nightmare fuel than the more recent one they did. <laughs> Um, and then back here, some of the smaller sets. This is back when uh, Episode 1 was starting to come out. Cloud City, the original Millennium Falcon, original TIE Fighters, the old shuttle. The ATST has come a very long way. <laughs> that old one is really lacking details but this is pretty much everything for this old r2 uh if you guys have it let me know in the comments uh, see how well your rubber bands have held up uh <laughs> and also disclaimer if you got a lot of sets that have got white parts or rather not just white but light colored bricks make sure you keep these out of the sun because the sunlight will yellow this. Um, but yeah, so take care of your Legos, and they will last for a long time. Like this, for 22 years. And I am going to end it with that. And I've still got another R2-D2 set that i got to do a video for. And uh, that'll come out in a little while. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.